What's good with all my troops? It's your boy 529Dev, aka the Lieutenant, and I am back with another video, man. As y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail, today I'll be sharing my most recent pickup with y'all, and it is a very special one to me at least because this is actually my first ever brand new pair of Rick Owens footwear that I picked up. I have owned a good handful amount of Rick Owens, but I wear the fuck out of everything that I put on, so I really usually don't see a sense in copping shit that's brand new. And I'm always just trying to keep my footwear in a good rotation. For these specific boots, which y'all probably already saw before clicking on this video, I feel like there's a pretty obvious reason reason as to why i didn't want these used and besides that i'm not gonna lie there's no used pairs of these on the market right now being that these are from the most recent full winter season at rick owens release which is luxor full winter 23 and i just couldn't pass on these so you can tell by the box if you haven't copped a pair of main lines before big ass box Lil Rick Owens. Before I open this, I do want to say yes. I did open them, try them on and all of that. So it's not necessarily an unboxing, just a review for y'all. Right away, first thing you see, which comes with all Rick Owens footwear, is a tote bag. But this isn't the little one. If you know, then you know. I really could fit my life in here and just move out of town with this shit if I needed to. So this clutch for sure. Now, once you take out your tote bag, you are blessed with some beautiful eye candy, as y'all can see. Right here, we do have the Lunar Tractor boots, which is Sherling, if y'all can can't tell made from a hundred percent genuine lamb fur if y'all familiar with rick owens lunars then you know where that name comes from because there is plenty options for lunars tractor from the name comes into play because of the soul they first came into play with the rick owens tractor boot itself and then from that point on we kind of just saw the specific soul being used across a variety of different pieces these just look beautiful bro i really don't know what other way to put it now this exact boot actually did release full winter 22 only difference being the sole you guys can see it is the icy bottom but the pair from last season was actually all black with the retail for these being at 2.9k basically 3k with all the taxes and shit i've seen offers and pairs being sold for anywhere up to 4k i've seen listings for like five bands but they haven't sold only real way to reference the market for a piece is just to look at how much has been sold for in the past so me seeing that just kind of gave me the green light to grab these because in my personal opinion the icy bottom just looks way more clean even though the black tractor sole is hard as fuck and actually the only thing that was throwing me off from grabbing these to begin with is the fact that obviously i know over time these will begin to yellow and they won't look as fresh as they do right now but if worse comes to worse and i decide to keep these for a good amount of time and they end up yellowing on me i'm gonna just take them to a cobbler and black out the sole don't copy the swag they basically gonna be revived because that's really the only thing you could ruin about this shoe now back to price points and shit i was lucky enough to find one last pair on essence on sale the one pair that was on essence was actually a 45 so i was eyeing that one for a while and then i saw a couple small sizes and a 43 on rick owens website for all y'all that don't know i do wear a 44 true to size the ones on rick was a little bit more expensive but i was still willing to cop them just because i wanted to play it safe for the size my sizing reference point came from my bomber lunars that i had a little while back which were a 44 i thought it would be perfect but for those of y'all that have copped rick's footwear i know the sizing is all all over the place now if you haven't owned any it's a good thing you're watching this video make sure you do your research before you spend bread on this type of shit but the 44 and the bomber lunars did actually leave me with a little bit of room which is why i felt more comfortable copping the 43 and spending a little bit more money because fuck it i just feel like going a whole size up would have been crazy but by the time i actually set my mind on copying these and went to go check out the pair on rick owns was sold out and they only had like a seven and eight left which in eu is going to be around the 40 and 41 so obviously i was asked out on that pair i took my eyes right back to the since I copped the 45 instantly and from that point on they've been sold out on anything near my size I gotta gatekeep the price though I'm sorry all you gotta know is that the sale brought them well under retail and leaves me with a whole lot of room to make bread if I ever ended up wanting to sell them so for that reason I was super glad that I made this decision between the time of me actually checking out and I'm getting to my crib I couldn't stop thinking about the fact that these shits possibly won't even fit me i was still like fuck it though worst comes to worst i'll either try to side swap with somebody or trade these in for something so with that being a thought of mine once they got here i instantly tried them on and to my surprise they actually fit perfect i would say i'm not gonna lie there is a little bit of room but i feel like a little bit of room with rick is always a good thing i was happy as fuck because they were actually very very comfortable bro designer footwear in general tends to be pretty uncomfortable so i really wouldn't have been surprised if it was i just made the comfort factor way more shocking to me i'm not gonna lie i was just hyped as hell that the risk i took ended up working out for example i did have these pair of ricks which are actually the bozo tractor boots which you would assume are in the same size range because it's literally the same exact sole wrong i got those in a true to size 44 
and they were actually tight as fuck. I ended up returning them. It was a very hard boot nonetheless. I probably would have ended up keeping them. But the fact that they weren't my size, I got them, had to return them. Kind of just threw me off. So I ain't try to get my right size in them. That's actually when I ended up copying my Balenciaga steroid boots instead. But anyway, even though these are pretty much a statement piece, nobody in this fake ass fashion world is going to make rules for me. So if these become our dailies, then these become our dailies and it is what it is. Now, if you guys look at the lining on the back, this is actually genuine calf leather. Since this is all genuine materials, this is soft as fuck. The only problem I'm really having with these is wearing them out in the rain. Even though lamb is literally a wild animal and they do perfectly fine in wet conditions. I'm pretty sure after the fur is actually shaved off of them, it doesn't have the same reaction to being wet. Don't quote me on that. That's just based off what I know right now. I definitely got to do my homework. Only other outstanding feature, but Besides this being a big ass boot itself, is these jumbo round laces that we have wrapped around the whole boot and knotted on the back. Honestly, just love what he's doing with the oversized look of things. Not necessarily even him. That's why I wear Balenci too. But literally everything about this boot is much appreciated. Back to the comfort. I don't know if you guys could see how thick it actually is in here. All this inner lining is actually nylon padding, which I feel plays a big role in the comfort. Finna step outside real quick, head to the thrift and see if they have anything for me to pair with these wooners. I'm about to walk in this bitch with my fucking brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you should. Alright, no, niggas really see what they got in this bitch, man. Now I forgot how crazy this lens is, bro. Oh, wait, lens is that? The blurry background and shit. I'm really hunting for some flock. If I gotta rob somebody cart, I'm gonna rob somebody cart, and it is what it is. Look at wearing pieces. I fuck with shit like this, bro. Say Loki Jack that little V neck. I like the V neck because bro, that should not like some OD masking and shit. Bro. Nah, I need this. I'm about to grab this. He said I need this. I'm grabbing this. Wait, hold up, bro. Fuck it. Look at the bed. Nah, I thought it was like ripped. That's savvy. I don't know how you gonna wash this though. You're gonna get washed. Loki going right now. Oh well, yeah, in the cut. Nah, that's alright. Long well, neck ass. That's some use like. Yeah. Hey, let's be real, bro. Nah, I can see me wearing this like little penthouse apartment. A oh. penthouse apartment with a with some skinny jeans on. Big ass flip. I could. I All right, could. Come on, bro. Let's keep it a style. Calm, calm. You gotta appreciate the the simple garments, y'all. I really just look. I mean, she was guaning. All right, all right, all right. All right let's go. Calm. Q just shopping. All right, yeah. Oh my, nah, this is going. <laughs> nah. What is this? What is this Richard Sport. Oh, this actually is fire, though. No way. I sweater with buttons on it. But I don't know if my creative process makes me appreciate this shit more, but really dissect this shit really came from nothing bro oh yeah this is hard nah, this is actually crazy oh my god two hours later i was pretty locked I'm not going front mad shit let me know if y'all want a little bit of me running down all these thrift pickups right now though i'm about to cash out y'all ain't know bro snowing this shit in new york bro if y'all know what snow is it's that white shit on the ground it's basically like frozen h2o but then it like freezes into ice and shit because slip it's just toxic bro it's twitch yo it's good chat yo wait 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 how you see the fucking how you see the comments and shit. Comments, nobody. Like, niggas right. not saying shit. Nobody in. I'm just grinding. Right, bro. I'm just waiting for niggas to join. Got to pull up at some random crib. Smell good in here. That's really why I'm here. Should I go grab eats? Uh, that's a dumbass question. I'm out there go get eats. Nigga. What's hey. up, niggas? Nobody in here right now. But I'm just grinding. What's good, chat? How y'all day been? It's gonna be a little bit delayed. That's but fucking great. If y'all like me, bro. Y'all don't got nobody in chat, bro. Just keep grinding, bro. Yo! 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 Yo, niggas got a whole Yo, niggas got ass. Yo, this guy's fine. Cool, man. Fucking reunion real quick. What's good, my niggas? Now, I also got that swag going from back in the day. Oh, bro. Niggas don't know about the vice, bro, man. The skates now, the skates is groovy, bro. <laughs> that shit looks vibey. The only hard thing is like in the beginning with hills and shit, like I don't really know how to stop without that shit. Nah, nah you that got a swaggy pair, bro. Nah, this shit is tough. I just had fun with those without hurting myself, bro. Let's just start out. This is the first thing niggas ever added to this shit. What? The Guap CEO. It's either that or this. 
of the young lord. That's crazy. Y'all need to do your homework, bro. Y'all was not doing this shit, man. The fuck you was doing, again. Yo, get fuck with this music you playing. I've never seen a remote like this. Wait, 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 wait. Low the volume. Low the fucking volume, bro. I got some shit to say. <laughs> Fuck. Tim is fine. All right, right back to the regular, regular fucking schedule. <laughs> takes a while. <laughs> 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 Bro, that's how I dead was with my beats. So I wasn't even gonna get this shit. Nah, niggas got the twin fucking bees, but that's so hard, bro. That, that is what? so. Nah, niggas don't even know. Niggas, I'm gonna come through or something. We got fried with the bros type shit. Moolah in the cut. We got Starry in the cut. Q in the cut. Yo, that's so disrespectful. Fuck. Miles in the cut being disrespectful. Playing disrespectful, bro. Miles in the cut disrespecting Q. They're different. Now, there's really not too much else to say about these, for real, for real. I'm just glad the whole process and me actually getting these in hand went super smooth. These shit just brought me a whole lot of happiness, I'm not gonna lie. We mixing great footwear with SSL all 2024. Until we get to the point where Saint Still Lives is releasing crazy ass footwear consistently. And with the continuous support of Yah, I feel like it's gonna come in no time. I didn't even think I would be picking up shit like this this soon. So the fact that I am just makes me so appreciative of everybody that supports me. Cause literally nothing like this would happen whatsoever. I mean the world to me, bro, literally. But yeah, that basically is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy or at least learned a little something new. But I'm gonna catch y'all very, very soon, man. It's being boy 529 dev, vice up becoming YouTuber. And until next time, I am out. Peace.